Bernan. Hello friends, Linjani Magadi. My name is Lama and you can translate my name to any language of your choice. In today's lesson, we will be learning all about the Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe was a host of 60 different types of minerals, 40 of which has been historically exploited to various extents. Now, the production has been dominated by 10 common types of minerals. Who can tell everyone the names of the minerals and what they make? Yes, Tandega. Yes, that is very correct, Tandega. is and sometimes it is also used as fuel. That is also very correct, Tandega. You are on fire today. Yes, lithium can be used to heal and used as a source of fuel. Silver is used as a metal, mostly in electrical contacts. That is also correct, Rapula. Yes, Dalinze. Diamond is the hardest metal on earth and it is used to cut metal. Copper is a very good conductor of electricity and motors for electrical wire. Asbestos is used for roofing, ceiling, and floor tiles. Wagona Nyash, that is very correct. Mining uplifts small towns for segment. When a mining area is found, growth points are built and businesses are. Mining could prove a big business in Zimbabwe, with mineral exports responsible for 60% of the country's export earnings as of October 2018, and the mining sector contributing around 16% gross domestic product. The main benefits include low cost, reliable, electricity and the materials necessary to build our homes, schools, hospitals, roads, highways, bridges and airports. There is so much to learn about the minerals of Zimbabwe. So today who can tell me who learned something? Who can tell me what they learned today? Me! I learned that Zimbabwe is very rich in minerals. That is a good Zimbabwe in Obama Basa Akawanda and Ofamisa Nanifi Mine. I also learned that Zimbabwe is a high percentage of job opportunities in the mining state. I learned that minerals in Zimbabwe help improve our economy. Lenzebu Shelo, Maitapo, all of you did very well. Until we meet again, Tonana, Sizabonana. Bye. Now, Anna Nesham, what is that? Now,